All right, it's Python on Hardware Time. This week, Lady Ada, we've got a lot going on in the world of Blinka, CircuitPython, and more. Um, let's go over to our newsletter. So this week, um, one of the things that we did last week was talk about the 100 libraries in the community bundle. So that was breaking news. Breaking news. Last week. Um, I do want to thank everyone who's in our Discord. We're up to 37,000 uh, people. Thank you. Uh, it's one of the biggest open Discords. Uh, thanks for keeping it a good, safe place for everyone. Um, and this is kind of a neat project. We're starting to see a lot of, uh, especially Python-based mm -hmm. projects that use hardware with ChatGPT. And again, you know, our point of view, in case y'all are wondering, is this is a fantastic thing to generate gobs of text for fiction. <laughs> so um, this is kind of neat. Uh, this is a Raspberry Pi that'll pretend to be clippy and move around and say things. So, yeah. you know, if you want a paperclip to talk, ChatGPT might be for you. Um, and then we watched some of the um, Arduino. It was Arduino Day, and it was also um, Hackaday Berlin. A lot going on, on I think it was Saturday, mm -hmm. um, even with time zones. And there's a new Arduino Uno R4. Unclear. Th 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 theoretically, it could run MicroPython. It could. It could run MicroPython. It's um, ARM Cortex, which is which is good, and it's got a 32k of RAM, which is enough. I mean, that we have the SAMD21 with 32. K of RAM, so it's not you know a ton, but it, it's comparable to the Samd twenty one. What's interesting about this chip, uh, it's a Cortex. Sorry, it's a Cortex M four, so it's uh, much more powerful than the Samd twenty one, um, and it's a five volt logic microcontroller, which is you know, it's a rare thing, right? Not not a lot of microcontrollers that are ARM Cortex run at five volts and have USB. Um, so it'd be interesting if some you know if there was a lot of demand for five volt logic level. Uh, yeah. support this would be like the chip you could use it with yeah we'll see if folks want this this is uh, a different direction for Arduino we shall see um, and then uh, some new firmware for microbit a good comparison on some uh, hobby PC vendors yeah. um, I asked Ann to put this in the newsletter this week because we get asked a lot it's like oh I wanted to send out my PCBs which ones and like you know we'll we have we like Oshpark but then someone went through and just like here's the one from DigiKey here's Oshpark here's this one here's this one and a lot um, of these PCBs also I like really like that that um, pastel purple um, joystick cover. Yeah, it was kind of cool. Um, Anne was on the Hackster Cafe. And then I wanted to have you, Lady Ada, talk about the new things that we just added or adding in CircuitPython. There's the GIF thing and then yeah. the IMX. Um, yes, we've got a couple so good it's things. It's like today. Ooh, a little, like, a little translucent. Um, yeah. I really like this. This is a very comfy green shirt, so sorry. I, I know I always wore black. But... Ada, it, Adafruit is so transparent. That's so transparent. You can just, you can see right through. Um, okay, so number one, um, GIF.io um, is, is now merged into uh, the latest builds and will be in the beta one release. Um, thanks, I think, Mark and Anne and Dan and Jepler, who all helped out getting GIF.io in. So it's cool. You'll be able to play uh, GIFs natively from within CircuitPython to any display. That's super cool. Um, and uh, we also have optimized uh, memory management now, so you can switch out GIFs because it's like GIFs are GIFs are kind of weird. Um, so you can play them from disk. And also, Jepler um, did a bunch of work to um, add I2S and PWM output for the IMX RT series, uh, which is also really neat. Um, you can play. Uh, he did some tests. I was like, okay, this is a 500 megahertz processor with a Cortex M7, and like you know, it has all the. Uh, the FPU DSP commands that come with the Cortex M7, so it should be able to play a lot of audio very quickly. Um, so it can currently, I think, play four to eight concurrent wave files off of an SD card where the SD card is clocked at 25 megahertz. So I think it's limited by the speed of the SD card, and there's no SDIO support on... Four at the same time, that's pretty cool. Yeah, four to eight. You'll be able to do. Yeah, which is, which is pretty good, concurrent you, you can... wave playback. Um, so the next thing would be to, you know, if you're limited by um, the disk size, I actually wonder if MP3 might be a little bit better because at, with MP3, it's a tenth of the um, disk size, but there's no C more CPU requirements. So, like, it kind of depends on whether it's CPU bound or if it's disk bound. Um, I might have uh, Jepler try that out next. So uh, those are the two of the things that I think. I mean, everything is wonderful in CircuitPython. Yeah, Python, of course. But I'm very excited about those two things. All right, so check that out. Um, the newsletter comes out every single week. We deliver it to your inbox. Just go to adafruitdaily.com, separate site. 
we don't want anything to do with your email address, so we put it over there, and it has nothing to do with your online store. We don't do pop-ups or any of that nonsense, because we don't like that either. 